Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. I uh, have this message I need to get out. Um, I've been putting it off, but God keeps showing me every direction, every which way I look, this needs to be done. And uh, <laughs> so here it is. Um, the spiritual warfare that is going on right now is outrageous. And God it has just really put on my heart to encourage everyone, be mindful of your thoughts. Be mindful of everything you listen to, everything you watch, everything you see. Do not let the devil have a back door into your life somehow. Um, you know, among fellow believers, like our watchmen and women, they're being attacked constantly. Even like some secular places are being attacked by people. You know, it's one thing to be divided and have a disagreement, but some of these attacks, I mean, think about it. If someone says something that you disagree with and you feel angry, question that, you know, because that's not coming from Holy Spirit. You know, the devil wants you to be angry. The devil wants you to be frustrated. The devil wants you to feed your ego and your pride. Think of this. Keep this in mind because... You know, God tells us to love one another. We're to encourage one another. And, you know, iron sharpens iron. You know, we, we grow um, together in Christ. We don't tear each other up and tear each other apart. So, um, yeah, the, that's basically, it's just a quick message and everything. But every time I turn around, God's like, this is going on. We need to be alert. Um the devil knows his time is short, you know, that he doesn't have time to play around. He is going to attack and sneak up on you when you least expect it. So pay close attention. Be careful of what you bring into your house. If you're angry or frustrated, take it to God and, and tell him, say, look, I'm feeling all this chaos or um, anger and I don't know what to do with it. And help me, God, to have a heart and a mind like you. So that way I can, you know, show love and grace to everyone. That This is where we need to be. We need to stay glued to Jesus' feet right now and take everything that we're feeling to God. You don't have to respond or attack someone because you feel a certain way. Pray about it first, you know. God, what can I do to bring light to the, this other person? Um, what can I do to show them love and grace? Um, I, I know I can't respond to some comments because Holy Spirit won't let me. Um, some of the comments I get, it, it, it blows my mind because I'm like, wow, there's no fruit in that. And, you know, I, I can't debate someone's ego. I can't argue with it. The Holy Spirit's not going to let me do something that's not done out of love and compassion and nor waste my time with someone that's trying to be prideful or righteous in their own mind. So, you know, if I don't respond to something, it's usually because of that. But again, that's me having to take my thoughts captive too. If, if I read certain things that are, you know, being like I'm being attacked, I have a choice. Do I let my flesh react or do I take it to God? And I'm going to take it to God. Right now, I, I'm going to be glue on my knees, you know, because these days are just going to get worse. And we need to be prepared. We need to be spiritually prepared. And, and that's with everything that we we put out and we take in, you know, more so what we put out because usually what we take in is, isn't what defiles us, is what comes out. But I would be mindful of everything right now. Anyways, I wanted to share that with you um, before I got another <laughs> do it now message. So um, share the gospel. First Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Jesus fully flesh, fully human. He died on the cross for our sins. He was dead, buried, and he rose again on the third day, according to scripture. And it is believing in Jesus Christ alone. 
It is his grace alone through faith alone that we are saved. Um, <laughs> sorry, phone. Um, share that gospel. Share that good news with anybody you can. And uh, love someone today, okay? Be kind. Be blessed. Bye.